What is it, 123 at... 23 even. Yeah, I love their audio panels. I wish mine was Bluetooth, but the, this headset is. Right. So if I got to pick up IFR, I use my phone, Bluetooth, right. and it still works. I got to send mine back and get it re reconditioned. I called and I got a Bose. Uh, no. Light speed. Hundred bucks, man. They just rebuilt this totally. Look. Is that one of the originals or did this was an original? Thing okay, so because they, I said I hear you put a Kevlar cable. She goes, not with the original originals. I asked the same thing. They wouldn't do it. Would have been nice if they did. Nice if they just upgraded, you know, and said, but mine's like all, it's it's all, the impedance is off. And they fixed this thing, it's great. All these little how, ear how things. How long? Uh, one week. Uh, 100 send, bucks. Send mine in. I should send it in this week because I'm not going to be able to fly this weekend for the air show. Bose, uh, I sent it to Bose, Mary's headset. They said, we don't fix them no more. They sent it back. Well, why didn't you tell me that? I wouldn't have sent it to you, for God's sake. You know, uh, I was but, talking to John Martin the other day, and, and he's got a, um, he bought a, David Clark. And he said, you know what? He goes, the other ones are sort of like Bose. He said, they do all, they don't really focus on headsets. They have all sorts of kind of stuff, but David Clark, it's just headsets. And I'm like, he likes the real new ones. I didn't like them. You didn't like them? Why? They're not as quiet as the Bose X. What about, I've always thought my light speeds are quieter than the Bose. Oh, they, I think so too. Yep. Actually, my plan was originally to get another set of light speeds. I got two. I like them. Mary didn't like them. She don't like the fit of those. She tried the in-ear headsets. I'm going to sell those. I sold the Craze Pilot ones for 130 bucks. Okay, when I was flying with Charles as we headed back towards Georgetown, I lost uh, battery power. And I should have checked while I was on the ground, but I didn't. Charles and I were chatting a little bit before we got out of the plane. So I dropped Charles off and then taxied out to uh, runway 4, and there was a couple planes ahead of me. We were all waiting on two planes that were... One was on final, one was turning base. So once they landed... We all took off in succession. It was pretty quick. Once I had taken off, I had looked back and noticed there was no red light. And I noticed there was no yellow green light or whatever it is to um, show that it was even on. So I have a small flight bag that I keep all my camera equipment in. It's all that's in it. Some spare pens and whatnot. So I pulled out the uh, battery pack that I have. I forget the name brand. I can post that either down below or a little bit later on. I'm trying to do a follow up with some of that equipment. <clears throat> but I hooked up the cable to that to the camera harness, fired it back up, and recorded all the rest of this flight in. So I've seen other people that do uh, flying videos, and I'm always wondering how did the GoPros have such long life and how did the Garmin VIRBs, my battery life is terrible in the Garmin. My only complaint about the camera. And then I started to notice they're using the accessory battery packs. So I purchased one, keep it in the little flight bag if I have to recharge a phone or whatnot. Uh, if I go into a restaurant or stop at an FBO I can charge it real quick. So I have a cable, and I hooked it to the battery pack, hooked it to the camera. Like I said, as you can see, it provided great. Oh, I have to text Mary real quick, let her know I'm on the way. I forgot to text her when I left Georgetown. But anyway, the battery pack works great, hooks right up to the camera harness. The cable's long enough that I can drop the battery pack right inside the rear pocket, the pockets on the front seats. that thing will last for hours, hours and hours. So that'll be what I'm going to start using when I do any long flying. I'll, I'll keep the little battery on but I'll, that's in the unit, and then I will just keep the accessory battery pack. As you can see up on the windscreen there on the right, I'm set up to use a 
an additional camera. I still didn't get my Garmin VIRB back from NTSB. So I'm waiting for that. That's going to be the inside camera. For now, I'm using the Active On Gold out on the tail hook. And I wanted to get some good video of that today. And for some reason, when I went to download the files to do the video uh, editing work, it said the file, the one main file that I wanted was corrupted. And of course, I had about 15 minutes. 20 minutes of footage sitting on the ramp at Georgetown that I forgot to shut the camera off. <laughs> and I do carry an extra battery for that and never even gave it a thought to put it in. Or I could have plugged that in and charged it while we ate lunch. So I might move that in inside into the windscreen for now and save the, the, uh, the tail hook camera tail tie down camera. Just take that off for now until I get my other camera back. But uh, the Active On Gold, it was really a cheapie, 50, 60 bucks. And lately it just cannot handle being outside there. I, I don't know what's going on. I keep getting corrupt files. So, we'll see. You can see the coast coming into view. It was really quiet today. The jump plane wasn't even up by the time I came home. It was really quiet. I think I heard the one plane taxiing out for departure. Or taxiing out to runway uh, four. One four. Man. The taxi was taxiing out to one four for departure. But he was holding until I got in. I actually saw him taxiing past the hangars up by my hangar. So he was just making his way to, uh, to four. Here I am turning on a long final. The tower water pointing to the water tower on the north side of the field, one to the south side of the field, and then there's one just off center line. That's the south side, and then the one right over the nose, just across Route 50. You can see it right there on the highway, right? It's just going under the windscreen. That will line you up almost for one floor. So break out, you see those three towers, it's like a field goal post, you're pretty much fine anyway. I am going through my gumps check, adding just a touch of power there. I think I dropped the gear at about three miles out. I'll add a notch of flaps here shortly. Oh, bumpy. Gas is on both. the carriage, yes. Pump on. Prop set for go around. First notch of flaps there at 10 degrees. I'll come right back and add the second notch. There we go. We're all set up. It's hard to see the third uh, gear light, the main gear on the right side, because the cow flap is in. If it's pulled out, you can see that light. I've had a couple people ask me, you know, you say three green, but we don't see three green. It's uh, blocked by the cow flap handle. You can see the plane just taxiing in front of the hangars over there on the left. Put the chirps. Flaps up. Pull some more power. That yoke back a little bit. Pump off. And I'm making my way to the uh, taxiway so I can call clear. Alright, thanks for riding along. If you haven't subscribed, please do. If you like the videos, you can also uh, hit the like button. That always helps. And I look forward to catching everybody next week on our trip to Lawrence, Mass. Thanks.